Hi, it is Marie. I am back again today with another video. Um, today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and what it means to be successful. Um, I realize it's not Friday, it is in fact Wednesday. Um, however, I've been thinking about this uh, recently and um, I may be busy on Friday. Uh, so I thought um, that while I have these thoughts kind of swirling around in my head, I've kind of think through this um, and upload something today if I'm not here on Friday. Um, but uh, to get into cerebral palsy and success, I find I found throughout my life um, that people just kind of want to give you awards and and give you certificates and congratulations um, that you don't really deserve. Um, and this is something that's bothered me throughout my life um, because I, I firmly believe um, presently that, that, you know, the award, um, the congratulations should go to someone who, who deserves it and not just out of a passive thing, oh, we have a disabled person here, we have someone with cerebral palsy and, and they need to feel good about themselves so we're just going to hand it over to them, you know, everyone's going to clap for them, um, you know, they're going to feel good about themselves and, and the whole thing's going to be great and, and awesome and, and kind. Um, but I, I have to say, I really have a disrespect for people that do that um, because one in my life it it, it inflates um, what I thought to be my successes um, you know I thought I was growing up I thought I was really good at sports um, and and you know uh, it turned out <laughs> that, that I wasn't and um, that really that, that's kind of a kind of a thing you have to jostle with them later in life, kind of um, coalescing um, what you thought was your success with something you then realize is your failure. Um, and so I think it's a dangerous thing to do to people um, because it gives them a false sense of success. And and you know uh, I think it's also. Uh, disrespectful to do uh, to the people that really deserve something. Um, you know, don't just hand it to a person with dis with a disability just because they have a disability. Hand the award or give the congratulatory uh, prize to to someone who deserves it um, and someone who who's work worked hard for it. It doesn't mean that the person with, with a disability hasn't worked hard for it, um, but I'm just saying I don't think it should, it, people should be overlooked just in, in favor for um, the person with a disability. Um, what it all comes down to really though is, is the fact that people, I think in my opinion, um, People want to shield people with disabilities from failure, and and hey, we're all human here. You know, we're all, we we can all be prone to failure. Um, you know, I can understand where people want to shield people with disabilities from failure, um, but then again, I I think it's wrong to shield people with disabilities from. From the cruelty of the world, and I realize that that failing at something is on the meager end of that cruelty or that suffering. Um, but in the end, disability or no disability, we're all humans, and you know we we all we all deserve to be treated with the same dignity. Um, and I think when you just passively uh, congratulate or or make successful the, the, the triumphs of someone with a disability just because they have a disability, it's, it's rather dehumanizing, um, mostly to them, um, but, but as well to the other 
other contenders. Um, I, you know, in my life, I just want to want to um, be congratulated for the things I actually do well, so I can figure out what I do well in life, and I can actually feel good about myself that my being on this earth is actually contributing to something. Um, because I feel like when you when you inflate success, you know that person with a disability that person with a disability may not be contributing um, what they think they are to the world, um, and I think it's more damaging to them in the long run. Because if if you think you're successful at something that you're really not, you're not going to put in the amount of work you should be doing. Um, you know, and, and if they know, if they know they need to work on something, I guarantee you, people with disabilities will work on something. I've, I, I am a person with a disability, and I've met dozens of people with disabilities, and we all work pretty damn hard to do things. So, I, I mean, just, just let them know, um, and, and... And let them let them be successful is really what it comes down to. Um, but I feel like I I don't know what I'm talking about. I've kind of lost the whole structure of this. Um, but in the end, it was just kind of it had no structure to begin with. Um, and 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 so I will probably end this video and I will say goodbye. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns. Um, anything comment down below in the comment box um, and I will try and get back to you um, you know and and I will see you in the next video whether that be on Friday or the Friday after um, uh, goodbye